Well, I think the number one job of the federal government is to defend the country. It's something that almost every American will admit they can't do for themselves, and almost every state will admit they can't do for themselves. I'm certainly supportive of our long commitment to authorizing how we do that. The defense authorization bill, as uh, Senator Thune pointed out, incredibly important. But the defense authorization bill really doesn't do much if you don't appropriate the money to do what the defense authorization bill says our military and defense objectives are. Um, you know, there are many people in the Congress, both House and Senate, who will always vote for the de defense authorization bill and never vote for the bill the money is in to do what the defense authorization bill says we're going to do. Um, all of you know, after two decades of being at leadership conferences, House and Senate, that I've said a lot of times, we are doing this in the worst possible way, but the only thing worse than doing it in the worst possible way with this one big bill at the end would be not to do it and kick it to a new Congress uh, that when the Congress uh, starts won't even have a Ways and Means chairman or a budget chairman on the House side or lots of other things. This is no fav favor to the House if we kick this to another year, and it makes it impossible to have a chance to, to get the bill that they are responsible for, the 2024 bill, done in the way it needs to be done. Uh, this bill uh, has, uh, you know, increases uh, defense spending by 10 percent, uh, increases non-defense spending by 5 percent, uh, with 13.2 uh, percent inflation uh, since, or 13.8 percent inflation since President Biden became president. Uh, I think we've done a good job of holding the line on the non-defense area and trying to keep the defense area where it gets where it keeps up with the defense needs of the country. Uh, the money for Ukraine will be in this vote, and you know we have an obligation. Our number one obligation to, to, to defend the country in the federal government, but I th also think we have and need to have an obligation to help people defend themselves and fight for their own freedom. That's in this vote this week. Uh, as well, and uh, I'm going to do everything I can to see that it passes.